Good morning, welcome to Bitcoin Bounce. My name is Joseph and today I am here with Dion. And so we are looking at a clip from Steve from Crypto Crew University. Now he made some bold statements. What he says, he says it's right now more dangerous not to have Bitcoin than it is to have Bitcoin. At any moment, Bitcoin can start uh, to go up in an upwards rally and then you never found the bottom and you never got in. No one is going to time the bottom perfectly and so that's why the best way is to start to DCA into Bitcoin right now. Every time when you see uh, Bitcoin makes a dip, it's a time to buy and over this weekend Bitcoin uh, went for a dip again after non-farm payrolls. So this is possibly one of those spots where you want to buy. So Dion, um, just uh, before we get into Steve, just a quick um, uh, summary on what's happening with uh, Bitcoin. Uh, do you think this is a time to buy or do you think we can still wait for the dip? No, for sure it's a time to buy, Joseph, definitely. Um, we're very low. We're holding the level where we are now. We're basically just going sideways around about 19000 And buying Bitcoin under under twenty is just an amazing price. Yeah. So yeah, I think Steve actually said in his video, it's like once in a lifetime. We, we're never going to get this low again, according to him. He says, yeah, uh, so it's a great time to buy. Ladder in, ladder in. Yeah, absolutely. So if you work out the percentages of each one of these drops, um, you know, Bitcoin has pretty much consistently fell the same amount of time in each drop. Uh, it's just like around about 54% that it drops every time. So we are right at that level right now. So if Bitcoin would exceed the $67,000 of next time, then it will not come back to this level again. And so that's why we are at the pristine level to buy Bitcoin. And even if it would drop a little bit lower, it will quickly recover from that and then it will go up. It's maybe three months period before Bitcoin is really going to start rallying. Uh, but you got to look for the lows. You know, Ethereum caught a lot of people by surprise. It dipped and no one bought in. And then before you knew it, it went up another 30, 40 percent. And most people never bought at that low, you know. And so don't let Bitcoin do the same uh, to you. Uh, also, with the, the Matic coin, uh, the same thing happened. It dipped, it's polygon, it dipped all the way. And then it went what, uh, it went like 50% or 70% up. And no one were able to, or very few were able to capture because they're waiting for a lower low, you know. So um, don't try to, to time the bottom perfectly. Okay, so uh, we're going to jump in right now and listen to this clip of Steve. We're going to cover this chart as well as this one and this one and lastly this one. It's going to give you such a clear idea of what's happening in the market and how to maneuver around these avoidances. We're going to start here. This is the golden zone. There's been three other times that we entered the golden zone. Okay, And these are the best times to buy. Sometimes they're a little bit short-lived, like in 2018. Sometimes, like in 2015, they're a little bit longer. Each of these candles represents a month, and these are the best buying opportunities you will ever get in your entire life. And then you may ask yourselves, well, if we're inside of this golden box and we don't know for how long, is there any way that we know when the bottom is in? I'm glad you asked. Down here, we have the RSI, and we're on the monthly chart. When the RSI hits this yellow line, it's time to pay attention. But it has to hit the yellow line at the same time that we're in this box, just like it did here. When it did hit the yellow line and inside the box, that was the market bottom. 2018, we need to be in the golden zone and hit the bottom, and that's supposed to tell us the market bottom. Was it accurate? Well, we hit the yellow line right here at precisely the market bottom candle. Fast forward to today, we're inside this golden zone, and we first dipped our head below at 17,500. Interestingly enough, we're actually holding this yellow line as resistance right now for the first time in Bitcoin's entire history. You can see we've never held it as resistance before, which is a telltale sign of things to come. We'll get to that in a moment. Now I wanna to get to our next chart to start to try to paint a clear picture because right now, if you are waiting to buy Bitcoin, you're waiting for prices to go down, you're not alone. The same thing happened in 2018. When we bottomed, everyone was waiting for us to go lower. Right here on this channel, I made the same type of video as this one. I urged everybody to at least dollar cost average in, at least, urged them. 
and you can see what happened in the market. And this bear market, everyone thought we were going lower as well. Pick any bear market in any industry in human history, it's always the same. It's more risky to be out of Bitcoin right now than to be in Bitcoin right now. Let that sink in. Write that quote down. Tweet it. It happens time and time again. Right now, with Bitcoin price, you know, less than 20K, less than about 19K, it's more risky to be out of Bitcoin than in Bitcoin. I want you to at the least dollar cost average in every Monday every Monday. And again, this is not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. This is for educational purposes only. But if we look at all of the facts on the charts and we look at all of the human psychology and we look at the history and evolution of every market on earth, when we're showing signs like Bitcoin is right now, it's more risky to be out than in. At the very least, every Monday, you should dollar cost average in a certain amount. If Bitcoin drops, great. It's not going to drop all the way down to 3,000, like some people say. It's, it's just not gonna happen. I want you to dollar cost average in every Monday. You will look like a superhero in several years from now. Let's look at some further charts and some further evidence. And by the way, I wanna reference later in this month, I'm gonna be dropping a five-day masterclass. My plan for the next bull run. As we sit right now in a bear market, it's my plan during a bear market and what I'm doing to get ready for the next bull run. Which coins am I looking at? What, what do I think is gonna be the next Ethereum or Solana? All of the top altcoins will be covered in detail, including a, in a detailed plan of what I'm doing for the next bull run. Get ready for that five-day masterclass. We have the 100 MA, the 20 MA, we're on the weekly. When the yellow line crosses the red line, it happens every few years and it signals the same thing. It happens, this cross happens precisely at the market bottom. It did in 2015, it happened precisely at the candle of the market bottom in 2018. And by the way, we had that cross, we covered it right here, 17,500. We called for the bottom to be in for Bitcoin a little over 100 days ago. We got similar responses when we called for the 2018 bottom to be in. We covered it right here on this channel. And then we made a video right around this time period that a quote unquote legendary rally was coming for Bitcoin. So you should start to pay attention to the facts in the charts. Love the facts in the charts. Markets always surprise everybody. When it seems not even possible that the bottom could be in, the bottom will be in. When it seems really, 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 really obvious that Bitcoin is going to 100K and everyone on planet Earth said it uh, one or two years ago, the opposite happens. Whenever something seems obvious in a market, like it seems right now obvious that we're going into a global recession, that there's going to be blood in the streets, that it's going to be panic and pandemonium. It seems obvious. Even if you interviewed somebody random on the street, they will tell you that. When everyone's chanting the same thing, markets will do the opposite. It's riskier to be out of Bitcoin right now than in Bitcoin right now. If you're holding, waiting for this fictitious price that should be coming, you will be holding and you will unfortunately buy back in when Bitcoin's around 50,000. It happened back here. It happened back here. It happened in every market known to man, in every industry known to man. The people waiting to buy back lower will buy back in when it's too late. Again, let that sink in. So we have another chart here. Three-day death cross. When we had the three-day death cross in 2015, just about one month later, we bottomed. When we had the death cross in 2018, right after we had the death cross, it was about one month later, we bottomed. 2022, hmm, maybe this year will be different. Right after we had the death cross, one month later, 17,500 bottom. Now, what happened after we bottomed? What happened after we bottomed? Well, we rallied up to this green line once, twice, three times. It took us a little while, but we finally broke through. Once we finally started to hold it as support, and especially the red line as well, that's when the bull run started. Holding the green and the red line as support marked the start of the bull run. Well, let's see in 2018. 2018, bottom happened about one month later, and then we rallied up to the green line. And the only difference was we needed to have this little COVID crash, this little fluke in the system. But once we were above the green line and the red line, we were off to the races for the next bull run. 2022, no different. One month later, after the cross, we had our bottom. What are we doing now? We're rallying up to the green line. That's what we're supposed to do. We're right on schedule. 
we're right on track. Now, when is this gonna be over? We talked about it in the past chart when we're above the green line and above the red line. And what we're also looking for more importantly is for the stochastic RSI on the monthly to get above 20. Right now, we're actually in a cross down. So we need to wait for that. We've said this before, we're still many months away from the start of the next bull run. We're still at least several months away. Even if everything looked great right now, it would take at least three, four months for the bull run to start. So it doesn't look great right now. So we're at least three or four months away from the best case scenario of the bull run starting. Still some time. And we wanna see the market go sideways. It should be a boring rest of the year. And if it is, the more boring, the better for us. That means we're creating really solid market structure and we will keep you up to date right here when the market turns. But it's more risky to be out of Bitcoin right now than in Bitcoin right now. Watch this video a few times, share it with people who need it. There's a lot of people out there that need to hear this dollar cost average in once a week with 500 or 5,000 or 50,000 or, or half a million, whatever your number is, dollar cost average in every week. You will look like a superhero in three or four years from now. Awesome. Thank you. This is a good clip. You know, Steve is always uh, very strong on his technical analysis. Uh, he doesn't just say stuff. He also puts graphs and uh, patterns behind everything that he says. Uh, so, um, you know, all of those patterns that he's showing is irrefutable. And so I want to recommend if you have some cash available that you want to buy Bitcoin, this is a good time to do so. So Dion, what do you, what do you, what's your plan with buying your Bitcoin? I just need to make more money, cash out more trades, buy more Bitcoin, Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that is yeah, 100% right. Hey uh, guys, uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of us are experiencing a little bit of the, uh, the effects of higher prices, higher food prices, higher gas prices. Um, and, and it is a sacrifice right now to take some of your living expenses and to buy Bitcoin. But I, I tell you, um, in a year or two from now, you're going to thank yourself that you that you went through a little bit of pain right now to have uh, results in the end. Uh, so guys, uh, thank you. Uh, in the next session, we're going to be back again and we're going to look at that interview with Mark uh, Yasko. Thanks, Dion. Cheers, guys. See you just now.